the topic is stability and instability of atmosphere atmospheric stability and instability is directly related to the adiabatic process adiabatic heating and adiabatic cooling adiabatic heating and adiabatic cooling related to the ascending air current and descending air current rather upward movement of air and downward movement of the air in adiabatic process the changes associated with the changing altitude the changes of temperature is due to internal changes or due to changes of the altitude this is the basic principle of adiabatic heating and adiabatic cooling now come to the normal lap state uh, in normal slap lap state is not associated with the ascending air current or descending air current not associated with the upward movement of air and the downward movement of the air it's normally confined within the layer of troposphere it's extend up to the tropopause on an average the height of the tropopause is 18 kilometers uh, from the earth surface with the increasing height with the increasing height from the earth surface to the atmosphere the temperature is gradually falling down this rate is normally known as normal lapse rate the normal lapse rate on an average rate is 6.4 degree centigrade per kilometer be clear there is no air parcel no ascending or descending air current this there is a negative trend with increasing height of the atmosphere and falling of temperature this is normally known as normal lapse rate but adiabatic lapse rate is associated with the parcel of air mass upward and downward movement of the air mass or air it's related to the altitude uh, there are basically three types of lap lapse rate dry adiabatic lapse rate moist adiabatic lapse rate and environmental lapse rate environmental lapse rate is known as normal lapse rate okay first come to the point of dry adiabatic we are all familiar with the word adiabatic now come to the point what is dry what do you mean by dry air dry what do you mean by dry air dry mean it's not saturated not fully saturated the dry air means the air not uh, fully saturated the relative humidity obviously below the 100 percent that is known as dry adiabatic lapse rate if the air is dry that means cold lesser water vapor and relative humidity less than 100 percent then it is known as dry adiabatic okay if the air is dry so and the adiabatic process of the dry air parcel is known as dry adiabatic lapse rate okay dry the the average rate of uh, dry adiabatic lapse rate and the moist adiabatic lapse rate cooling rate is not like uniform the dry lapse rate lapse rate means the changes of temperature rather falling of the temperature with the increasing the height of the atmosphere that is called lapse rate so lapse rate rather temperature falling rate of the dry air which hold laser water hmm, vapor the relative humidity less than 100 percent that kind of air that is called dry air the lapse rate that is the falling rate of the temperature is 9.8 degree centigrade per kilometer okay then come to the the dry adiabatic lapse rate depends upon specific heat capacity and the pressure condition in dry adiabatic lapse rate is the basically the unsaturated air parcel unsaturated air this air moving rise moving towards the upper layer of atmosphere then there is an obvious result will be cooling of the air and then Oh, then the rate of cooling is 9.8 degree centigrade per kilometer okay this is an, a picture of dry adiabatic lapse rate here air is moving upward this is unsaturated air that's why it's called the dry and adiabatic means a changing of temperature with the increasing height so uh, the, the air must start journey from that level that is zero meter and moving towards up and temperature 
um, uh, temperature is start journey from the temperature of 30 degree centigrade and it's become 20 degree centigrade at the height of 1000 meter and 2000 meter it temperature falls 10 degree centigrade and this is the method of dry adiabatic lapse rate like the average uh, rate of dry adiabatic lapse rate is 9.8 degree per centigrade per kilometer uh, let's have a look there are three balls of three different colors in three different position first one is the green ball green ball lies in this plain zone here the slope of the right hand side and the slope of the left hand side of the green ball is uniform so here the analogy is that if the moving air and the temperature condition of a moving air is similar to its surrounding condition so that will be the situation of neutral condition that will be the situation of neutral condition now come to the example of blue ball blue ball lies in the bottom part of the valley or the lower part of the valley here there is a contrast of the slope in the right hand side of the blue ball and left hand side of the blue ball if the temperature characteristic of a blue ball or the temperature of the blue ball or the blue air masses is lower than the surroundings air lower than the surroundings air then the situation will be stable and if the someone wants to move the blue ball then he or she has to put extra energy or extra force okay in spite of the, that blue ball try to try to back its own and original position okay so if the temperature characteristic of a blue ball is lower than its surrounding condition then air began to subside or the shrinking condition or the downward movement of the air masses this is known as the stable condition now come to the example of red ball red ball is in the topmost part of the slope and topmost part of the hill here the uh, slope of the right hand and left hand side of the uh, red ball is lower than the red ball zone so if you consider that fact in in term of temperature if the temperature content or temperature characteristic of air ball is higher than its surroundings areas then warm warm red red air masses begins to move upward and that is the ascending or rising air current ascending or rising air parcel or ascending or rising air masses and that situation that situation uh, in that cases the air moves upwards and that is the unstable situation so if surrounding temperature condition and the temperature condition of moving air masses is similar that will be the neutral condition if the uh, temperature condition of moving air masses is lower than its surrounding condition then that will be the stable condition if the temperature condition of moving air masses is higher than its surrounding condition then the situation will be unstable here i describe the things in terms of slope and the position of ball but same analogy is applicable in the cases of in a part in a cases of atmospheric situation in a particular altitude in reference to the temperature of that altitude and the moving and the temperature of the moving air within that particular altitude the three stage not neutral condition stable condition and in unstable condition in neutral condition normal lapse rate and dry adiabatic lapse rate here the red line uh, this shows the dry adiabatic lapse rate and black line shows the normal lapse rate both are uniform through the height here the this is the altitude this is the temperature both line are 
runs parallel to the each other rather both those are in merge situation that means there is no differences with the increasing height in the temperature of normal lap state and dry adiabatic lap state so there is no gradient of temperature there is no moment of the temperature so there is no uh, atmospheric disturbance this is the neutral condition when the uh, normal lap state is exactly match with the dry adiabatic lap state the situation is called the neutral condition then come to the point the green line sorry sorry blue line that is the uh, normal lap state and red line is the dry adiabatic lap state with the increasing height not rate of normal lap state is 6.4 degree centigrade per kilometer a falling rate of temperature and the in dry adiabatic lap state the falling rate of temperature is 9.8 degree centigrade so with the increasing height this is the elevation with the increasing of elevation both dry adiabatic lap state and normal lap state both are in decreasing trend but at a certain height at the height of 35 uh, 3500 meters there is an difference in between the temperature of the within the particular height within the same height there is a differences in the temperature of dry adiabatic lap state and the normal lap state this is the line of red line is the line of dry adiabatic lap state the dry adiabatic lap place is the lower than the normal lap state okay rather if the normal lap state that is the blue line is the normal lap state it's near about 7 degree centigrade and the dry adiabatic lap state is 0 degree centigrade but in the same altitude there may be a horizontal pressure gradient and this situation is known as stable condition rather when the normal lap state is greater than the dry adiabatic lap state then the situation will be stable and then this and this in the temperature axis this is in height axis red line is the dry adiabatic lap state this is the environmental or normal lap state if the normal lap state is lower than the dry adiabatic lap state dry adiabatic lap state is higher than the normal lap state rather uh, if the dry adiabatic lap state is greater than the normal lap rate then this is known as a unstable situation unstable atmospheric condition okay if the normal lap state and adiabatic lap state in a particular height in a particular altitude is same that is known as neutral condition if dry adiabatic lap state is greater than the normal lap rate then the situation will be unstable and if normal lap rate is greater than the adiabatic dry adiabatic lap rate this is the stable condition so let's have a look this is the situation of stable condition this is the temperature line this is an altitude line okay here the two air parcel moving upward this dot line is the dry adiabatic lap rate and this line is the normal lap rate here the normal lap rate is higher this straight line is the normal lap rate this normal lap rate in a in a height of 1000 meter in a same altitude the temperature of a normal lap rate is higher than the dry adiabatic lap rate then what will be the result then air cannot move upwards so air begins to subside begins to move downward and this are uh, the air become the descending air current this is known as stable condition here the yellow column shows the normal lap rate at a certain height the due to normal lap rate the temperature of that air is minus 30 degree centigrade and here the dry adiabatic air that is the unsaturated air moving upward and the falling rate of temperature is 9.5 degree centigrade per kilometer and, and it is the ascending air current this air is moving upward and after reaching that height there is a differences of temperature in between the normal lap rate and adiabatic lap rate suppose at a certain height temperature of the normal lap rate zone is minus 30 degree centigrade 
within the same altitude the temperature of the dry adiabatic zone is minus 33 degree centigrade then what will be the result here the dry adiabatic air is more cooler is cooler than the normal lapse rate so dry adiabatic lapse uh, dry adiabatic air can't move more then it began to subside began to sinking began to move downward or become a descending air current and this descending situation is responsible for the stable atmospheric condition